Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 of Kingdoms and Castles where we're trying to build uh, Cumbernauld which is currently a small village into um, a thriving medieval metropolis um, on this island. Um, last episode, we um, were for episode 1, if you haven't watched it, don't because it's terrible. Um, we built a couple of houses, uh, we got some farms on the go, uh, we managed to get the food sort uh, situation sorted where we're now making more food than we're consuming. Um, we're in the process of building a second orchard to kind of improve people's happiness. Um, we've got our uh, forestry kind of forester up here. Um, we've got a quarry down here and uh, the real kind of hovel peasants quarters here um, where we basically send the worst of the worst so that they have to like, stay awake every single night to the sound of people mining rock outside their house. Um, this episode, a couple of things we want to get done. I'd like to expand the residential den into here. Um, get some more of kind of the essential building. So it's aiming for like a, a tavern, um, just to improve happiness. Maybe, um, I don't know, what can we get actually? Um, a manor? Let's get a town square. Let's put the town square kind of, we'll put that up there. Um, do need to kind of think if we get the fire here, but we don't have any gold. I don't know how to get gold. Hmm. Okay, that's that's today's job is to find out how to get gold. I'd imagine it's gonna do something to do with how do you get fucking gold? Oh it's from taxes. We're not taxing the peasants. It's never caused anyone's... Okay, let's do like a... Okay, let's build a treasure room. Um, okay, yeah, so... Houses, treasure room, and pub for the lads and ladies. Um, castle. Where the hell's the treasure room? Mo Archer Tower, Ballista Tower, treasure room. 50 stone. Okay, so we need stone. So let's just get the game rolling. Um, and what we'll do is, uh, while people are doing that, so we need, let's see, what do we need, what do we need, what do we need, what do we need for a treasure room? I've lost it, there we go, so 10 wood, which we've got, and 20, and 50 stone, so, let's get back onto our priority list, and let's put the quarry workers kind of higher up the top of the list. We don't need the builders at the moment. Um, let's move, let's just do it in kind of order, very cool, supremacy. Uh, we know we do need the farmers over the orchards. Let's get a couple of extra houses. Um, let's do that. Um, we probably should think about getting a fire brigade. Um, just to be safe. Where would that come under? I did see it a moment ago. Um, I can't remember where it was. Fire Brigade. Oh yeah, we need, we need the gold. Uh, right. We need to get some builders over the orchards. That's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just rush down this, um, this construction thing. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you, Giles, for your feedback. Yep. Just happier times, and yeah, five people visited. Only three have stayed. That's fine. Because we're gonna have some some more beds, um, and then we can upgrade these later on. I hope actually. Let me check. How big is a cottage? I hope it's gonna say one block by one block. I suppose we'll find out. Um, that's fine. I guess. Beds for 40, 30 people living in Cumbernauld. Seems about right, pretty accurate to the the real thing, IRL. Um, if anyone's watching this, I fucking doubt it. Um, and you live in Cumbernauld, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, because I grew up in Cumbernauld and I know your pain, I know your suffering. Um, but it's okay, you know. People say certain traumas make you grow as a person and Cumbernauld is definitely one of those traumas that makes you grow, so, you know, kudos to you, you got through it, you lived. Um, 
could be worse. Could have come from Croy. Um, no, Scottish kind of geography joke. There are very, like three people in Ireland that really watch this and understand it, but if you do, good on you. Um, what do we need? So we're waiting for that stone to come online so we can get the, um, the treasure room so we can start taxing these fuckers. Happiness is on the way up. Three peasants are in good health, which suggests that 60 of them aren't. Um, happiness chaff to bits with their fruit. Fucking, what can I say? They want fish and pork, so that might be later on this episode, maybe the ep on the next one. Uh, we come down here and just kind of start doing the fishing. Um, this area here, I'm still trying to think what I'm going to do. This, this could be just like your house and residential area. Because um, we're going to need to really. I mean, look at the amount of. What the fuck are these dudes? Are they going to be like wolves or some shit? Oh, they are. Oh, danger dogs. Um, let's keep away from the danger dogs. Um, now, do I want to go back to this witch? Where, where, the, where is this witch? Oh, she was here, wasn't she? Um, oh, oh, she dislikes me. I was, I was about to give you some food. I'm going to give you that 15 food that you asked for earlier. But do you know what? Fuck you. That's all I have to say. Go fuck yourself. Nice upbeat music, I like it. Right, treasury room. Um, I feel like... Now, I don't know you get Vikings attacking you here, so... Probably should have just put there a little... Can we just demolish that? Just purely just for aesthetics. I know, I know. Let's put that there. And then we'll build the farm. We'll get another farm, put it back. It's terrible progress. Um, and we'll put it there. There we go, right? That's fine. Um, and then. How's the food situation looking just now? Yeah, we're still making plus 16 from last year. Oh, people are happy because more fruit. It's, it's, it's 60, 60 come on. Tell, tell me that you guys in. You know, you're not looking at this and thinking, episode 2, man, this guy's got a shit figured out. I've been playing this game for however long it's been out. I can't even, I can't even do this. This guy's just come out here, just straight up, just, you know, just straight up giving it for it, man, you know. Um, it's alright. It's okay. You know, we're here to live together. Um, stores for orchards uh, bring fruit to the store each harvest. Am I losing any fruit? I don't think I am, but it might be worth. Is it worth getting one of these? Fruit to store during each harvest. Fruit that can't be stored by the end of the winter is lost. I don't think we need that. I'm, I'm going to say we don't need that, and I'm going to. Right, let's start taxing these fuckers. What can the tax? Oh, okay. So you're in good. Oh, oh, no, it's tanking. It's tanking down. What will my tax rate give me in terms of gold? Does it give me an idea? So they're not happy because I'm taxing them. But their health is going up. Because um, they're having a, a balanced diet. So, um keep on that trend, let's go for another orchard. Um, now, ideally I'd want to build it like somewhere that's got like the dark green, like here. Um, and the worry is that's like right where the fishing bit is and I really want to put the fish there. Um, let's build another road. God, I need to get used to these controls. Now, let's get another road going up here. Um, and we'll just, I don't know, yeah, we'll just role play that this is like the king's private orchard but because he's so fucking benevolent in Cumbernauld he's decided that um, everyone just everyone can have a bit of his like apple pie and stuff you know um, what we do need is another well just to increase water coverage we're just going to put on that really bad bit of land and then that means we've got water coverage here here um, we should probably think about getting another one there, don't want to be doing that because I mean, I'm giving my 
find the poor people. But, um, though, we do need, it might be worth, we're not yet at capacity, so we'll leave that for now. Job priority. Um, let's get some more tax collectors. Um, actually, so what, let's, what do we really need? So we need food, so that's the top of the list. We need to get stuff built. Timber farmers, I think over builders, builders over, so timber over builders, tax collectors. I'm just going to tank the fruit, and there's a fire. Someone, anyone going to put out that fire, please, please. How the hell do you set fire to a dirt farm? Fucking hell, farmer Joe. Swear to God, if this fire rips through, we will execute your entire family. Ah, still got food from it. Nice. Well done, team, for everyone hacking together and granary workers. So we do need people. That's the thing. So we do actually need people. Let's get our first couple. Oh, shit, that's pretty big. Again, we want to just put it on land that's not particularly great. Um, how do I rotate that? Do they have a way in and out? No, they don't. And I also feel like this could be where we start to build our kind of like housing area. Um, so, for whatever reason, the, the king lives amongst the peasants. Uh, Sure, I'm not gonna build on any like really good land, so I might just wait till after winter. Yeah, so that's it was this whole area here, so let's let's just like zone off um, an area here for the residential. We'll pop some cottages here. Let's just get like cottage there. And advanced town. Oh wow. Um I can't afford any of this because I've only got three gold. Um cemeteries and helps get the burn with the deceased, okay, cemeteries with the red section rest of this. See, I've got a library. Don't want people in Cumbernall to be to be educated. What are you on about? No one in Cumbernall is going to be educated. They're all going to be simpletons. Um, ah, the tavern, right? So we can get the tavern, which is going to be for our, our luxury boys. Ah, no, uh, yeah, it should be nice to the peasants. Really, shouldn't we? Means these peasants don't have a tavern, but that's really none of our concern, is it? Um, no, I did want to put the kind of the orchards here, though I can't work around here. Yes, ah, fine, fine, but you can have your, you can have your tavern. Got these are damn bloody happy. And then they get fruits at 100, so everyone's nearly super healthy. We've we'll got a moderate life expectancy, which is like semi decent. Um, just to mess with these guys, because screw them, uh, what we'll do is we'll put the caretaker behind them here and then the cemetery. And not only will they be kept awake by um, people digging and at the quarry. But they can also be kept awake by the sounds of the caretakers at night taking down the bodies, you know? That's uh, could be worth the fates. I mean, they've got a nice warm roof over their heads, not the nicest. Now we kind of crammed in. They look, they're going to look across, just this guy here is going to look out his window and just see this beautiful cottage getting built and just thinking, you know, why, why, why can't that be me? Um, and that's because for whatever reason I just decided I didn't like you. Um, and you weren't gonna you weren't gonna get anywhere nice to live. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, we're dudes doing alright. 
see, so trending back up. Oh, there we go, 100% for a game. Um, there we go. Yeah, maybe we do it. Um, so literally the only thing we need to do for, for this place, for this episode is just get the, the fish, got the tavern, um, got to get the fish, and then get the, uh, the orchardist, the orchardist, which I don't actually think we need. Um, I actually think we're fine with that. Um, let me have a look at... So we need the fishing hut first, and then we get the fishmonger. So we need, what, 80, 80 wood, 20 gold to do the both of them. We've got no tax collectors. That's a bit wrong there, I'll get on the tax collection. Because it's just, yeah, just that bit there. Oh, there's no workers below that. Alright, so. That shouldn't take two seconds. That should that. So we one, two, three, and we can swap them around. Those guys do not look friendly. Um, I've also realised that we've got. Another, I might need to demolish that house actually, so we can get, and get that stolen. Hmm. Where's adjacent to stone? Yeah, whatever. There's a stone there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. And then let's get the, let's get a path in here. There we go. And that gives us two quarries. And then that sorts out kind of just any future stone issue we might have. Um, the orchards are coming along really well. Um, I'm very happy with them. Only two found. So, what, what, where did I? Only two people decided they wanted to stay. What well, I want to know is where are they coming from? Are they just like walking out of the woods? Just like, oh, fucking civilization. Because we don't have a pub, that's where it is. It's the, they want the tavern. Once the tavern is completed, everyone's going to be super happy. Watch the wave of happiness. Just everyone's going to be so happy with it. They'll just be like, "Wow, this is absolutely fantastic." This king guy really gets us. Super chill. Um, how many people do we have living here? wants charcoal for heating and cooking. Oh shit, we need charcoal. Yeah, we, need, we do need to keep people warm. Um, let's get the charcoal maker. Let's put him again in an area that isn't really going to be used for much. Um, let's pop a charcoal maker there. Well, that's where I was going to put the cemetery, wasn't it? Oh, they can be kept away by the smell of cemetery and charcoal being made. Um, So let's get the let's get the the cemetery and work on first. Which I think again we could probably just zone off at its own special little area. Let's just do a three. Let's just do it like that. Um, ah, of course I use my all my wood. So do as we'll just we'll just go from the historical times. Let's get a cemetery. Pop that bad boy. Oh, do you want a normal cemetery? Oh, we can get special looking cemetery. Let's just go for a cemetery. Cemetery. Okay, it won't let me build it. Na 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 nanny. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, let's just pop one there. Let's just kind of get into that early because. I remember playing SimCity, like, way back when SimCity came out, and I just did not invest in kind of, like, public health, and I just had people dying all, all over the place, and the bodies piling up, and it just was not pretty. Um, 
So we've got this infantry built, we've got this getting built. Um, archers are coming along nicely. See, it's a shame because this could also be used for farmland. Like right here is like the perfect farmland. Um, I wonder. Um, could we go down here? Are there any danger snacks? Does it seem to be any danger noodles here? What we could do is build from here down through here and set that up there and then use this all for farming because this is really good farmland here and I don't want to waste that. But I could even just do it there. That is entirely possible. Um, yeah, let's do that. Uh, Sandwich is getting built. How are we looking for a job priority? So yes, tax collectors still not good bartenders, so we need a lot more people. Um, let's get the charcoal maker up there. I think that's part of the issue is we don't have anybody really making that charcoal, getting you know, making people warm. Um, as we say, no shit, there is a moderate fire risk. Um, that's fine. I'm actually quite happy with that. Kind of the foresters chopping away his wood. Orchards are just chilling out. The farmers are just kind of chilling. Not really much to do during the winter. Well, actually, while it's winter, then farmers, you guys can probably do that. And then it gets people. Some people collecting taxes during the winter. You guys can't do nothing when it's cold. And that gets a little bit of money coming in. And then it's straight back to spring and mini you back. Um, I do need more people. Yeah, I'm gonna put the farmers back to where they need to be. And that drops tax collectors. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need the builders. Right, so we're gonna need to get a lot more stuff. Make, find a way to get more people. We've got beds for 52 and 49 people stay in the wonderful town of Cumbernauld. Happiness is dropping slightly. Why are you? Why are you not happy, people? You've got, don't you know you've got a pretty cemetery? You've got a pub? You know? How's our food situation looking? Uh, plus 13, so yeah. Jesus Christ, the orchards. 62 and 81 lost to exposure. Ah, so we do need to be going for the granaries and stuff like that. How much wood have I got? Yeah, so I should be fine to build one of each. So, if we've got the granary there, so that's actually the produce store, because I feel that's probably where we're losing most of it. Um, let's pop that in there, directly across from that, the well, because that makes perfect sense. Um, let's just now do that. Let's pull people off the orchards just now. They can do that in a minute. We just need to get these buildings sorted first. In fact, what priorities I put building timber workers builders sits at the top. So Okay, so that's fine, we're now at full population. So we need to have what's that? 9 12, 22, 27, 28, 32, 34, 35, 48. Oh, I was kind of these ones. Great, uh, 48, 52. We need to have 60 people kind of within the town to be just filling all the jobs to 100% capacity. So, um, it does mean that this year is going to be a relative. Oh, we're not making any wood anymore, are we? So I've got everyone on building. How many builders? Now we have five builders, that's all fine. Yeah. Um, but the granary workers, yeah, they are needed. 
so this year is going to be pretty crap for everybody. But we are making charcoal at least, so that means at least people are going to be warm during the winter. Um, if not starving, but warm nonetheless. Um, and that should protect most of the food. How much do we lose to exposure? 81 loss to exposure. Hmm. But how? Because we've just built the food storage and the granary. Where's the granary? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Let's bump back up. We've got no builders because nothing needs to be built. That's fine. So let's get the orchards. I need at least four people in the orchards. There we go. Right. That's fine. Let's get. Is there anyone working in the. Yeah, there's something doing with That's fine. Right. So what we need to do is let's get another cottage. Um, and what that will do is that will really kind of start bringing in. That will get us the, those extra eight people that we need. Yeah, because we lost seven there, which got us 59, which would have been rendering literally one job short. So that's what we need to do. We need to get this house built, which it is in record time, which I like. We've not got any dead bodies yet, which is fantastic. No one's dying. Everyone's relatively healthy. We just need to get that fish and pork. I'm really reluctant to build here because this is such good farmland. Um, if we just do like one big community effort, we just chop that down. What, 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 what do we say, team? Let's not chop that tree. In particular, chop that, that, that tree there. Okay, never mind. Chop those trees down, that gives us the, the fishing bit. Um, and then we're good. And then we're good. Tax rate's only 5%. Happiness is still trending. That's kind of fluctuating. Literally just about play confirmance, more than life expectancy, more than. So we probably should get a clinic. Um, I feel like this should probably be next to the, the kind of church here. Not the church, sorry, the, uh, the cemetery. Workers on that as well. Are you, are you on strike because you don't have any fucking money? Well, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm trying to build a wonderful community and you guys are just shitting all over it. Um, this guy here, fucking with a. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. What the hell is this? What the hell have you got? Oh, nice. Perfect. Perfect. Food situation is looking good. Um, money situation not looking good. Charcoal situation equally not looking good. Uh, we have 64 bed capacity. Uh, we filled it up to 58, which means most jobs now should be done. Yep, there's a tax collect. That's full, that's full, that's full. So we just need eight more orchards and two granary workers. So we need. 10 more people to come to Cumberdold. Um, let's get another hovel. Um, let's put this hovel right here. Oh, no, I did one there. Let's put one hovel there. Um, and then let's pop. Yeah, so let's pop a hovel um, there and there. And let's just put in the middle of it like a communal, a communal farm. Because um, this area really isn't good for farming. There we go. Uh, money's coming in. Cumbernauld is. Oh, fuck, I just said the money was coming. Guys, come on. I'm gonna just wait wait till I've stopped the recording and then give me the, like, the worst ass strap, poor as fuck. Um, health is at least going up, it's turned to worth 71. Uh, for happiness, uh, sorry, health is 72, um, obviously the, the, the lack of orchards uh, over the last two years in the game um, really has kind of hamstrung us, um, we're clearing out this area here, so next episode uh, we're going to get the, uh, the fish on the go, the fish on the line, 
and I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Make money. Make that dollar bill. Um, so thank you very much for joining me for uh, part two of uh, Kingdoms and Castles, the quest for Cumbernauld um, to be a striding metropolis. Cut that down and make that and whatever catchy title makes your brain feel happy. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. Hope you really enjoyed and hopefully I will see you all in part three. Bye for now.